So what are the best two beaches at Perfect Day at Coco Cay? We've got you covered in this video. We're gonna tell you where to go and how to get there and why we think these are the two best beaches. Okay guys, you're at Coco Cay. You're off the ship, let's do this. First beach, we're gonna to head to is South Beach. You walk straight down the pier, or you can take a tram to the tram station. There you're gonna see these ladies dancing in front of you. You're gonna have a band playing probably the perfect day Coco K song. And you're gonna walk up towards this pirate ship where you're gonna see the kids playing. They love the water guns, the water slides, it's all free. And it's right outside the entrance to the Thrill Water Park, which you can see right there to your right right behind Daredevil's Peak, the tallest water slide in North America. There's the entrance to the park, but we want to continue to the right. You can see the sidewalk becomes gray pavers from blue, and we're going to continue down there to the tram station. Once you're at the tram station, just hop on the tram, ride it all the way to South Beach, and once you've arrived, you just get off and let's head into South Beach. All right, guys, welcome to South Beach. We are super excited. It's our main beach. We use, well, it's one of the main beaches we come to. And we love that it is like a little tropical oasis. We've got the food. They've upgraded a lot of it. So now there's games. There used to not be like a basketball court, volleyball court. What else is here? They've got pickleball on here now. Bean bag chairs that we were able to drag right up into the water. That's actually what we're sitting on. It's kind of mm -hmm. hard to tell, but. It's really nice to have the swim up bar right around the corner from us over here. I mean, it's a really great, beautiful area right now. And we're in port with Icon of the Seas. And right now, they're not here yet, or at least it doesn't feel like it. We got off the ship pretty quick, rushed over here as quick as possible to try to get it. But I mean, if you look behind me, South Beach is pretty empty comparatively. I mean, there are just seats for days around here. We did take the tram ride all the way around the island. They keep changing kind of the rotation. South Beach was initially the last stop, then it became the first stop. Now it's back to being the last stop. So this is definitely our favorite beach to come to. Yes, and speaking of the trams, they've added on a new tram that goes only to Hideaway Beach. So yeah. if you are wanting to do the adults only area, you don't have to take the island tour. You go straight to Hideaway Beach. Which is pretty cool. So you have that separate tram. You don't have to ride all over the island trying to wait for your stop. You just go straight to that Hideaway Beach, which is good because you're paying a pretty penny to get there. To the right of South Beach, you actually have the private cabana area, which I filmed for you guys. You guys can see it here. And then on the other side, you have these over the water, like Bora Bora style cabanas, which are actually really beautiful too but uh this is just nestled in between the two and i think it's perfect it's got the great mix of food and drinks things to do things not to do you can see you got those tiki huts in the water you can just walk up to from a bar you know and as you look around i mean you can just see this is a beautiful beautiful beach and like i said i mean there's starting to be some people here but comparatively this is pretty empty especially because we're in a freedom class ship we're on independence and we're here with Icon. So those are two pretty decent sized ships to be in port together. And like I said, as you look around, it's just really not a problem for us. So we actually got really lucky. Our tram driver told us about a place called The Cove that we had never actually been to. We'd been to Chill Beach before. We've been to South Beach several times. Obviously the Big Lagoon, the Oasis Lagoon. We've done all that, but we had never actually been to The Cove. So it was a very easy walk from South Beach to the Cove. When we got there, to get there, there's a little nature trail that you walk down. I know that kind of sounds a little unnerving, but it's not like a hike. It's a very simple, easy walk. And you walk down this almost flat. There are just a little bit of rocks in the way that you gotta walk over. And you get down there and you get a pretty epic reveal to a very nice secluded area. So the cove actually ended up being pretty reminiscent to one of our favorite spots on Labadee. Uh, it was so secluded, so nice. There was no amenities there, but let's jump into that part of the video now. All right, so coming out of the nature trail, you get this beautiful reveal into what is known as the cove. And the cove is really neat. It's actually a much more secluded and private beach then you're gonna see at South Beach or Chill Beach, you don't have to pay for it, this is free. You see the girls there in the water. 
There's actually a hammock that we've laid claim to over here and a bench and a chair over there, beanbag chair. But let's go down here. You can see just how small and secluded this beach is. There's probably only a hundred chairs here. They do have life vests available at this beach as well, if you need them. But man, like comparatively for the amount of people, there's nobody here. So if you don't need the amenities of South Beach as far as the restrooms and the bars and the food and the games, that's all you need, then just a beach and chairs, then this is perfect. And as we walk around the corner, you'll see we're still not super far from South Beach. So it's literally around the corner from the cove here. You might be able to already see it as we come around the corner here. There it is. So you can see South Beach on the other side of the cabanas. So you walk past the cabanas down the little path to get here until the nature trail. And there's a little other area of beach just to my left, right in front of us. Then there's a cabana area for the cabana guests and then South Beach. So if you did need something, you could literally walk straight across the beach. You don't need to go through the nature trail. It was just a neat experience for us. But yeah, this is the Cove. So if you're looking for a beach that has everything, South Beach might be that beach for you. And if you're looking for something a little more laid back, then we would definitely recommend the Cove. Either way for free, you can't beat these options. So those are the two best free places to go and how to get there here at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. And for even more cruise content, check out another one of our videos right here.